In a world obsessed with technology, these teenagers prefer to work with pins and needles, literally. Looking through the lens of time, they learn the ins and outs of clockwork, quite fittingly in the Eternal City. I like it better than working with technology. I would much rather work on a mechanical clock than on a new cell phone. Wearing their white coats, they grab each tiny item piece by piece with the precision of a surgeon. About 20 teenagers are enrolled in this three-year program at the Ellis Formation School, which is actually the only program of its kind in Rome, and the teacher is a former student. When I was a student, everyone would tell me the clock industry was dead because technology was taking over. That's not how things have worked out. All the big-name brands still carry mechanical clocks, not digital. Most of these students are between 14 and 16 years old, and apparently their future looks bright. When it comes to the economic crisis, the industry wasn't directly affected. We actually haven't felt the crisis because people fix their high-end watches. Maybe they won't buy a new one, but they take care of the one they have. And students are also learning real-world skills. About six years ago, the school adopted Rome's L'Orologio del Pincio, which is an ancient water clock that was basically unkept by the city. Thanks to the students, now the handles move with every synchronized drop of water. We go check on the Pincio clock, so we wash it, clean out the water, and make sure all the equipment works. And just like a car needs a mechanic every now and then, watches need their maintenance as well. And these students say it's refreshing to know that even as time passes in the Eternal City, there are some jobs that simply can't be replaced by technology.